Wow, wow. So he said, I have zero fear in my, in my heart, in myself. I have zero fear and I am 100% confident. 100% confident that I will beat him. I can defeat him. Wow. You know, that's a fighter mindset. Hey, hello, welcome back, fight fans. In this one, we're gonna talk about fighting, right? Of course, with that said, it's gonna be about Ang La and Sang, of course. Ang La and Sang, right? He's fighting on January, uh, he's fighting in a few days, September 6th, right? Actually, the day after tomorrow, yeah, in two days, actually. So, you know what? He's uh, the only world champion in Myanmar the only world champion from Myanmar in any sport. So if there is anyone, you know, who is non-Myanmar, who doesn't know about Aung Lan Sang, he's the first Myanmar world champion in any sport. So basically, he's the GOAT. Of course, you know, there are a lot of people that he has inspired. You know, he has inspired a whole new generation. And now uh, we can see a lot of young fighters, you know, from Myanmar coming to compete in one championship and of course you know you gotta give him the credit that he deserves that's be all because of him you know so uh credit to Aung and Sang and of course you know he's a great inspiration I mean um now he's fighting he's 39 years old you know we hate aging but you know it's a natural thing so we, we can there's nothing we can do about it you know I wish I wish I could make him <laughs> a little younger like 33 34 but, you know, I don't have that magic power. So, anyway, anyway, I'm a fan. I'm a fight fan. In general, I'm a fight fan. And specifically, of course, I'm a Burmese, I'm Myanmar. So, of course, I'm um, with my guy, Aung La, you know, all the fighters from Myanmar competing here under one championship. And, of course, you know, by the way, uh, thanks to Chatri and one championship as well for giving Myanmar fighters, you know, these opportunities that they rightly, rightly deserve. Anyway, yeah, with that said, we're going to head to the video. And in this video, let's react to Aung La's Burmese as well. In this very inspirational video to me, especially. So I, I think that one, some of the words he said in this video are very, very inspiring. He is fighting in a few days and, you know, his remarks about his opponent Shamil Erdogan of Russia. But he's representing Turkey. He's a Russian guy. You know, you know about Russians, right? Russian fighters, especially the ones from Dagestan. You know, uh, they, they are very, very strong, sturdy uh, fighters like Khabib, you know, Hamza, Shumayev, Makashev. We, we, we know all of them, right? So Erdogan is not going to be different from them. So it's a great challenge. It's a great fight. Uh, if he only wins this fight, he's going to get a title shot. Uh, against, you know, his good friend Ma Ma Malikin, another Russian guy. But, you know, what can we do? It's just that Russians are that good. They're just that good. So I will stop talking and let's watch Ola's speech. And I will also be translating, because it's in Burmese, I will be translating it to English, into English, so that, you know, if we have any non-English speaking audience here can understand what he says about his opponent as well. Let's see what he says about his opponent that he's facing in two days and what he says about, you know, Myanmar people in general. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm very happy to meet all of you here today. Oh, that's a, that's a nice word. Uh, so we have, uh, I mean, 90% of the subscribers of Myanmar, so Ayare, right? How would you say that in English? Uh, it's going to be my often try, so let me see. Maybe I'm so motivated. Yeah, let's say I'm motivated. I'm energized, motivated. You know, I'm not for sure, for sure. Wherever I fight, there are always Myanmar fighters that are rooting for me. They are supporting me, where, no matter where I fight. That's for sure. The Denver, Colorado. Do you know that one? Yeah. My name is Denver, Colorado. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I know Denver, Colorado, America. I don't know what I mean. 
All right, so now, yeah, apparently he's struggling a little bit in Burmese because um, maybe because of uh, his excitement. I mean, he's been <laughs> in front of the world. Uh, he, he's fought, you know, in, under one of some of uh, the biggest stages in one championship and the world in general. So I don't know if I should call it excitement. Uh, but yeah, he's visibly uh, having a little bit of a hard time speaking Burmese, I guess. Uh, Wow, that's beautiful, that, that's beautiful. So what he just said is, I'm always motivated every time I fight because I know I'm representing, I'm representing my people, the con my country, Myanmar. That's the reason I'm, I'm always motivated. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, another beautiful line. Okay, so I think that's a different one. So uh, uh, the first line he said is, um, so wherever you are, it's important that we represent, uh, basically we represent our country and people need to know who, what Myanmar people are like, what the Burmese people are like, right? And now he's going to talk about his Opponent. Okay, so the one I'm the, the guy I'm facing now has has never lost. He doesn't have any loss. Russia no Russia. That meant do Turkey represent Lord. That meant um where they do nine. All right, so he's from Russia, actually, even though he represents Turkey. So he has won every fight that he has been in. Wow, wow. So he said, I have zero fear in my, in my heart, in myself. I have zero fear, and I am 100% Confident, 100% confident that I will beat him. I can defeat him. Wow. You know, that's a fighter mindset. We can, we cannot. I'm not going to say never. We can, we can, we can, ordinary people cannot understand, you know, the, the real mentality of fighters, real fighters. So he's 39, you know, from the outlook, we would say he's too old. The guy he's facing is, you know, a, a little bit taller, has... A high advantage over him and you know he's a great fighter a well-rounded fighter for you know an aging legend like Aung, Aung La but you know the mentality is different man <laughs> so you know uh, every fight fan knows you know when it comes down to when it comes down to championship rounds you know what plays uh, a big factor what plays as a big factor in fights is that mentality who wants it more Right? Who wants it? who wants it more? Just just those guts. I think always got it. <laughs> yeah, people are cheering, cheering. Yeah, they're liking it. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I love it so much. So, even though we're from, he said, even though we're from, we're from Yama, everything is the same. We're the same human beings as they are. 
we breathe the same air, we drink the same water, we have the same blood, everything we have is the same. So there is no reason to be afraid. Right? Wow. We can work at we can work as hard as they do. So why wouldn't we we be able to compete against them, right? Yeah, Okay, so he said, even though we're in America, in the United States, our home is Myanmar. Our home is our home is Myanmar, and we need to remember that. Wow, wow! We need to work hard. Uh, we need to work harder than Americans. Come on. We'll be your ass, man. We'll be your focus, man. We'll be a dedicated, man. We gotta be more dedicated. We gotta try harder, and we gotta have more guts, right? Wow, that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. You know, like I said, that's the championship mindset. We can never imitate or we can never fully understand, you know, what they really have, you know, inside, deep down their mind because they are that great. Um, I mean, what can I say? I just, I just love it. So he's fighting. He's fighting Erdogan on September 6th, in two days actually, uh, Saturday morning here in Asia and uh, Friday night in Western countries in uh, Denver, in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I mean, what can I say? I'm, I'm rooting for my guy, of course. Oh. And uh, the main event is Superleg and Haggerty. Haggerty and Superleg, I should say, <laughs> because, you know, the, that order plays a factor in arranging fights. So Haggerty, Haggerty and Superleg. I can't really call that one because it's such, I think it's such a close fight. It's going to be such a close fight. Uh, I lean towards Haggerty because he has the size advantage over Superleg. Superleg is going up. Superleg is going up. But, you know, the kicking machine, you know, you know what he has. You know, you know what he brings. So it's going to be a great fight, I think. It should be the main event, of course. You know, in short, I would say Hag Haggerty. But, you know, when I remember those kicks from the kicking machine, I want to lean towards him as well. But realistically, I would say uh, Haggerty should be able to dominate. It's not going to be a one-sided fight, of course. I mean, we know uh, uh, what level of, you know, what caliber of a fighter Superleg is. So it's going to be a close fight, I think. It's going to be a close fight. I, I, I don't, I think it's going to go through all five rounds. Uh, even though they're both you know, vowing to kill each other, I, I think it's going to go to the distance and uh, it's really hard to call. <laughs> it's really hard to call. I just say uh, Jonathan Haggerty by decision. I think it's going to be a majority, major, a majority decision. It's going to be either a split decision or a majority decision. It's not going to be a unanimous one because, you know, super leg is that great. He's now going up. You know, he has beaten, he has already beaten Haggerty. Uh, like six years back now uh, but you know it's now a totally different fight at a new a different division than before so uh, it's gonna be a great fight so uh, do we have any Thai audience here who do you think is gonna win I mean not just Thai people <laughs> all the audience here who do you think is gonna win um, yeah it's such a great fight yeah I would say uh, Hegarty by decision either split or majority I don't think it's gonna and in a KO. I think it's gonna go the distance and Haggerty will retain his title. I think that's that's my opinion. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. As always, you know, fight fans, don't forget to subscribe. That's great. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.